Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this lesson, we're going to keep going through the standard windows that make up the Unity Editor. Now in the last video, we talked about the Scene View window, which is what the developers use to create the environment for their game. Now the Game window, in simplest term, is the display that shows what your game is going to look like to your players. So we have the Scene View, which is what you as the developer will use to edit your game and environments. And we now have the game window, which is what you as the developer will use to preview what the final version of your game is going to look like. It's also what the players are going to end up seeing once you build your game. So here we have our tutorial project open in Unity. And the window that is the game view is this one here that is in the bottom left corner of my editor. Now to make it so that you can see the game window a little bit better, I'm going to click and drag it up, anchoring it over top of the scene view. Now normally I wouldn't recommend this. I would always have the scene view and the game window separate so that you can see what's going on inside your environment at the same time you're playing through your game. So once again, the scene view window is what you use as a developer to see your environment. So I'm going to select the scene view. And here you can see that we have our 3D space. I have this capsule here in the middle of our scene, as well as a camera and a light. Now we'll talk more about these objects in a future video, but I just want to show you that there is 3D space here that we are viewing through our scene view. Now our game window is that same 3D space, but it's from the perspective of the current active camera in our scene. So right now we only have one camera in our scene, which is right here. And you can see that when I select that camera, we have this camera preview window that pops up. And this camera preview window is the exact same image that we are seeing in our game window. So when you're developing your video games, you use camera objects to capture this 3D world that you create as a developer. And then that's what the players are going to end up seeing in the final product. So now I want to talk about some of the basic features that come along with the game window. The first feature that I want to talk about is setting the aspect ratio of your game window. So right here underneath the tab for this game window, we have this drop down menu that currently says free aspect. Now this is where we can set the aspect ratio of our game. We can also set the resolution of our screen if we know exactly what resolution we want to build for. So to explain what an aspect ratio is real quick, an aspect ratio is the ratio between the resolution of your screen horizontally and vertically. So if you have a screen that's 1920 by 1080p, then the aspect ratio is 16 by 9, which is right here. And when I selected 16 by 9, you can see how it changed the display. We now have these gray sections on the left and the right of our screen. This is because a 16 by 9 ratio doesn't fit inside the dimensions of the window that we have for our game window. So if we set it back to free aspect, this just means that whatever size our window is, is the projection of our camera. Now it's important to note that when you're setting the aspect ratio of the game window, it's not actually affecting how the game is going to be displayed on a device once you build the game. Because each device has its own aspect ratio, and so when you build for a particular game, the camera will actually set to the aspect ratio of the device that you build it for. Now there's a number of different aspect ratios that you can choose from. You can also add new aspect ratios by clicking this plus sign. And if you want to do a fixed resolution, then you can have it set to fixed resolution. And then you will just need to add something in like uh, 1920 by 1080. And then I can hit OK and it adds it to the menu. And you can see how it changed. Now if I want to add an aspect ratio, I can click the plus sign and then change this drop down menu from fixed resolution to aspect ratio. And then rather than typing in the exact resolution, you can just type in a number. So if I wanted one by two, which I probably wouldn't ever do or recommend you doing, and I hit OK, you can see how it changes the screen. Now I don't think there's any device that has a one by two aspect ratio, but you get what I'm demonstrating here. Now the next important feature that we want to talk about in this video is the maximize on play option. So currently this button is not selected. And when I hit the play button up at the top, 
you can see that nothing really changes. Now if I were to select this option and then hit play, you can see how the game window now expands to the full size of the screen. Now another thing that you can do instead of the maximize on play button is take your game window over to another monitor if you have one plugged in and just make the game window the full size of that screen. That'll make it so you're pretty much playing in Maximize all the time, and you'll be able to see your game in super good detail. Now there's a few more features that I haven't discussed about the game window, but I'll talk about those in the Level Up video. So that's everything that we're going to discuss in this video talking about the game window. We hope you were able to follow along and that it all made sense. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that if you want to find out more about the game window that you click on the Level Up video at the end of this video. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can get regular updates when we release new videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.